Alright YouTube, I'm posting this video simply because I could not find this information anywhere. This video is about bearing placement and orientation. So, when I was rebuilding the block, I was out here for about a good uh, four hours, you know, just tearing down. And at the very end, I had a bunch of people waiting on me and I kind of rushed to um, take out the... The cam bearings anyways i couldn't figure out the way they went back because the information was not anywhere in the haynes manual it just said to um to take the the block over to a machine shop and, and have them install it well that's not what i want to do what i want to do is i want to install them which is why i bought this expensive installation kit so anyways I bought the service manual and in the service manual I was hoping to find the bearing orientation and the way to install it and I was disappointed. The only thing it said was assemble blah 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 place the bearing on the tool and then index the bearing oil holes with the oil hole yeah it says holes with the engine block oil passages. So basically in uh, just about every other engine they have one hole that you just press in and line it up with the hole on the block. This thing not only has two holes, but it's got a uh, little uh, valve here that I believe it's to uh, divert some oil from the oil passage because this oil passage is not just a hole. It's actually uh, let's see, let's see if I could get you a shot. There you go. Let's see if you can see my finger. There it is. It's a uh, it's like they, they drilled it at an angle, so the hole's actually, I'd say maybe a inch, an inch long, and this is for every, every one of them, so. You know, my first question was, well, hey, what about this thing? Is this really to divert oil, or is it to, like, help with the, um, the compression when you press it in? Does it, you know, move around or compress some? Does it just help with that? But anyways, long story short you can see on here I got some uh oh, come on all right there we go I got some scoring marks oh come on there you go I got some scoring marks there and there now that could be from me pressing them out but, you know, or, you know, or whatever. Anyways, it turns out that all I did was index, as you can see there, the, uh, the bearing, the scoring on the wall with that of the bearing. And when I actually found out after I did all that was, um, there you go, let's see here. There it is was that the orientation of the bearing is with, within these two, these little grooves right here. These are supposed to be just like that. It's supposed to make a straight, straight across line. There you go, focusing. Now, that would be, of course, if the block was straight up and down. As you see here, it's inverted. So the way the bearings would sit, would be just like this making a straight line so you could literally put like a straightage in here and line it up to the block so let's see you see that I'm indexing that uh that score mark with the one on the inside see that's what I'm doing so as soon as we line it up we get a straight we get a straight line now, I know you guys are saying it's not straight, but this is because uh, the bearing, I can't I can't press it incorrectly. It's, uh, it has to go in cockeyed. Like, like, this is an extreme way, but that that's what it is because I can't press it in. But anyways, yeah, this is going to be making a straight line. Just, let's see, there you go, that's indexed. There you go, straight line. Now again, it looks, it's kind of an illusion, but 
that's the way it is. If I was to hold it, there you go, it smashed up. There it is, you got a straight line. There we go. So, if, so just so you guys know, that is the bearing orientation for the 3800. Hang on, give me a sec. The 3800 series 2. Again, now that it's up there, it probably sit like this cuz the way the block's at, but anyways, all we got to do is this uh scorching line to that scorching line right there. And voila, it's at an angle, the block's tilted, but as you can see, it will make a straight, a straight line. And the oil hole will fit. Also, you know, this is a, also a big hint, that's the wear. It's got more wear on the bottom than it does on top, simply because the bottom is where, um, there's the least amount of oil. Anyways, just so you guys know. Again, you can see that the block is tilted. So, so yep. All right. There you go. This is for the 3800 Series 2. Very popular engine. Alright, see you later, YouTube.